nice one guys so basically let's show you exactly what you guys can also i mean make at home yeah step by step recipe something simple not too complicated to make at home all right Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it in the description box where you guys can get the seasoning to buy. Alright, you can get the seasoning to buy right there. Please tune in to Chef Ricardo Cooking Show. Makai, Simit. Good morning. Soon as I get 10 likes, guys. The beautiful chick. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Soon as I get 10 likes, I will start the show. MM, thank you so much for coming on the show. We appreciate the love. So I'm going to be showing you. A few recipes guys where you guys can also make at home very simple easy and super nice lovely so what we're gonna do Got a medium sized pot right here. But I'm gonna do this first. I'm gonna do some, some vegetable first before I do the, my cornmeal. All right, we're gonna be doing some turn the cornmeal today. Different kind of style from, from Chef Ricardo cooking today. All right. All right, simple. So first, what we're gonna do, we're gonna steam off some vegetables. That's the first thing we're gonna do. All right, we're gonna put roughly about a teaspoon of um, that's some vegetable oil. I'm going to be using some salt-free season from the Caribbean Fusion Sauce and Spice. Now, if you guys want to get this, you can go to also the website. And I pinned a pin, um, a location where you can get it also in the description box right there. All right. So if you are in Georgia, you can get it. Okay. If you are in the USA or in a different part of the country, go to their website. Caribbean fusion sauce and spice and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this one so don't go anywhere stay right there and I will show you how to use up the season and make a lovely meal at home all right straightforward it's gonna be super easy and simple all right yeah Got some purple onion. Into the pot. All right. Got some carrot. So it's gonna be a very long process. Carrot. 
that's it right there as you guys can see exactly what's going on at the moment You see that? That's the vegetable. Alright. Alright, we got some garlic. Can get my garlic press if you want to press it with the garlic press. I have some good garlic press, guys. Now, this one is salt free season, Mexican season blend. I'm gonna put a little bit inside of it, and they're also vegan friendly and vegetarian. A bit of water. Yeah, also fish season can go on the vegetables and they are salt free. This is all purpose, a little bit. Spinach. This is one cooking. So you guys can see exactly what's going on right here. Yeah, things looking good. Gonna put a little bit more of the salt free Mexican season from the Caribbean Fusion Sauce and Spice. It's also vegan friendly and vegetarian.
Alright, this is finished. Alright, this is finished guys. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna uh, pour it out. Let's turn on the cooker. So we're gonna do some more vegetables. I'm gonna show you how to do the turn call meal now. Alright, yeah. Alright, we're gonna show you how to do the turn call meal. Alright, so first thing, let's go straight into the turn call meal now. Um, roughly about a teaspoon of oil one medium size purple onion See that? So we're gonna start take off purple onion. We're gonna get a garlic. One clove of garlic. Spring onion. That's pretty one. I've got some peppers. Yep, take a look at that guys. So I'm not making too much, I'm just making just a little bit of it. Alright? But the way I'm gonna do mine, I'm gonna do it different. Alright? I'm gonna put some cloves in it. Some permanent seed. Alright. That's looking good.
Some fresh time, but I got mine in the freezer. All right, beautiful. Scott body prepper. I'm gonna show you how to make the real authentic Jamaican turn call meal. We're gonna put some vegetables in it. The only thing I want to do at the moment, we want to use some of the Caribbean Fusion Mix Season Blend. Now this one, all, everything right here is salt free. So we're going to put a little bit in it. Alright, uh, so we're going to put some fish season in it. No, that, that one is all purpose. Sorry, this is a fish season. We're gonna put some fish season inside of it. So it's some turn call me, me I make. I don't know if you guys know what is turn call me, but just have a look and see exactly what Shepherd Carter has been doing with it in the kitchen. All right, we're going to put roughly about one cup of water. I'm using some boiling water for my kettle. Then what I'm going to do, I got some coconut milk. I'm going to put some coconut milk in it. Right? Roughly about half cans of coconut milk. All right, and this is the way it look. So we just want to get this to the boil. All right, we're gonna show you how to do the real authentic Jamaican um, turn cornmeal. You don't have to use salt fish. All right, this is another way. Yeah. So I'm gonna show you this way something different. So what we want to do is taste it. All right, yeah. Mm. Ah, ah. Really spicy. All right, guys, there's no salt in it. All right, so to be honest with you, you have to put salt in it, okay? But the flavor is delicious. All right. Yeah, the flavor is amazing, but there's no salt. So I would encourage you to put some salt in it because this season doesn't got any salt in them. All right, yeah man. All right, there's no, there's no salt in it. And you know, you have to have a little bit of flavor to it. But to be honest with you, all right, the, the, the Caribbean fusion sauce and spice um, season is enough. But to be honest with you, yeah, um, I made us put, yeah. That's one of my, um, yo, Matt, what's going on, man? Happy. Happy, in the, happy, happy independent Jamaican there, man. Gotta put a little bit of um, vegetable stock inside of it just to bring in a little bit of flavor inside of it, all right? A little bit more of this Mexican blend. All right? Yeah. You can put some vegetable stock. You can, um, you can put a little... If you just want to use vegetable stock instead of salt, or you can just put a little pinch of the sea salt in it, all right? Yeah, but this looks amazing. All right, let me see what's going on right here. It 
So as you can see, I'm showing you how to make the real authentic Jamaican turn caramel with a twist. All right, so I just want you guys to see exactly what Chef Ricardo has been doing, all right? So we're just going to make this come to the boil. And then we're going to add some caramel to it. All right, big up my uh, Facebook and my TikTok audience. Thank you so much, guys, for the ship, for the, for the, for the stars and my Facebook page. Stacy, good morning. Thank you so much for coming on the show. So right now, I'm just showing you how to make Jamaican turn caramel. Yeah, when I was growing up, they used to say turn caramel is poor man food. And you know what I mean? But yeah, I mean, turn, cam turn caramel is not poor man food. Everybody eat it. Rich, the poor, everyone eat it. Yeah, but um, it's a beautiful one. Yeah. Nice one. So as I can see, I'm just making it get a little bit of boil. Let's so taste again. Perfect. Yeah. As you guys can see, you got some vegetable in it and you know, carrot, all sort of stuff inside of it. When I was growing up, man, they used to say this is poor man food. I don't know how true that was, but when I was growing up, that's what they used to say. Susan, thank you so much for coming on the show. Mari, thank you so much for coming on the show. We appreciate it 100%. Mavis, thank you so much. Big up yourself, Matt, man. What's going on, man? Long time I was here. Why, wow, I tell you. Look on it. Look on it, guys. Yeah, when I was growing up and I go to school, yeah, they used to say it's poor man food. Right here, look at this. Um, C. Jackson, good morning. Nice. Yeah, man, that looks really fantastic. Let me see it again. Let me just give it a try. Let me just have my eye on it, you know? Mmm. That is lovely. No, I'm gonna tell you something. Is this what makes the difference? So the Mexican season, this one right here, it is salt-free season. So basically, a lot of the people them who can't eat food without salt, and you buy this. The reason why I like about this season, it doesn't got chemical in them to preserve them. Them are natural herbs. Get one. All right, guys, go to the Caribbean Fusion Sauce and Spice and get yourself one of them, man. They are amazing. 100%. Alright. Guys, I want to see exactly what Chef Ricardo are doing now. This is not a joke thing, you know. This is a real authentic Jamaican um, turn car meal, right? We have everything in it. I put some vegetable inside of it. That's so you guys can see exactly what Chef Ricardo been doing. All right. Yeah. So, just keep tuning. Alright, I'm not going to be doing too much, so I'm just kind of have my eye on the liquid. But I don't mind having a lot of vegetables inside of it.
Yeah, the more vegetable is the best, man. All right, now I turn on the cooker a little bit. All right. I'm using fine calm and I'm not using the rough one. So basically, I got some prawn, which I'm already brought in the supermarket. They're already, everything ready. They just need to just like chuck in the pot like this. All right. Right here, I got some salmon. I'm going to put a little bit of salmon inside of it. All right. Now what you want to do, just give this a mix. All right. So we got the salmon. We got some prawn and we got a lot of vegetables. So I'm trying to do it with like 95% vegetables and less cornmeal. So right here, we got the cornmeal and we're going to put the cornmeal inside of it and mix it up. When we was growing up, they say it's poor man food. But look what's going on today. We got prawn in it. We got salmon. And now we're going to add some cornmeal. All right. So we're just going to take our time, add the, the cornmeal to it and take time and stir it, you know. As I say, you don't want to be adding too much because, you know, cornmeal swollen. All right, let's get a little bit more. All right. I mean, I want, but just, you can't do it dry, 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 but I mean, I like it when it's so, like, dry. I like to have it with a little bit of, you know what I mean? All right, this is a scotch body pepper. You need to remove that. All right. Yeah, it, it look wet, but that's the way me want it. I don't want it to dry out and, cause you got, remember right now, we got, um remember i got prawn in it we got prawn we got a lot of stuff inside of it guys whole heap of vegetables so i'm trying to do it with more vegetables all right so the more vegetable you have in it that mean when you're eating it you can see let us put a little bit more in it because you know you can always add a little bit to it because i know it's gonna be you know what i mean but it's pretty good you don't want it. I don't want it to. Because this got a lot of vegetables, prawn, fish, vegetables, everything inside of it. All right. Look at that. Yeah, man. That's the best way to eat the carmine. I'm mean, telling you, don't eat it too. Yeah. This is one of the best way. Let me see. It's got a lot of vegetables. Mm. Ah, oh my God. Mm. Guys, now this is amazing. Now, 95% in it is just beer vegetables. All right, so we got. Wow, that is amazing, guys. Honestly. Now, look at this. All right. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Mm. We're not cooking it like our grandparents cook it, guys. We cook it on a different kind of way. My grandparents would never put vegetable in it. Or she would just put a little bit of salt in it and probably look a bit some pieces in it and a story up and gear. And I hate that. But now this is one of the best way you can ever do turn cornmeal honestly look at that guys all right with a lot of vegetables so if the vegetable at the end of the day them says poor man food but i'm telling you this trust me yeah 
this is one of and it got a massive twist to it guys this is not like back in the days as you can see for yourself everything in it we have everything in it look at that take a good look we got corn we got everything ah yeah Mm. Wow. I'll tell you something, guys. This is fantastic. I love it. The flavor. The flavor and the taste is amazing. Yeah, the flavor and the taste is amazing. Turn off the cooker. You can taste the salmon, but the difference is this one. All right, and you guys can get this. You can get this on the Caribbean fusion sauce and spice. This, and then you got the prawn in it. Look at that. Guys, look at that. It doesn't too, I don't, because I don't like when it dry out like, yeah, I make dumpling. You know, it's supposed to be nice. Uh. Mm. Wow, that is amazing. Now, So what we're gonna do, we're gonna, guys, that is so lovely. I don't think you guys understand what's going on, all right? We're gonna um, plate it up now and make you guys can see exactly what Chef Ricardo talking about. All right, look at this. All right, this is some gravy. All right, that's some fish gravy we shall have. Look at this. All right. No, I'm I'm not like saying exalt or anything, but this is something where. I'm talking about Jamaican independent beer. I just decided to give you guys something totally different. Look at this with the vegetables. All right, can't go wrong, guys. Trust me. Tell me now. Tell me. What do you guys think? Here it is the Caribbean fusion sauce and spice. This is one of the salt free. Mexican blend season and this is what I use all right honestly just take a good look at that guys that is fantastic and an amazing the flavor and the texture is so lovely all right honestly but as the guys can see that is exactly what chef could have been talking about turn cornmeal with some prawn and salmon with a lots of vegetables that's exactly what you need right there all right yeah and we got some spinach so we got some salmon so the gravy was from off the salmon which i make earlier all right and i use the same season right here so we use a fish salt free seasoning this one is amazing you can get this one also on the carbon fusion sauce and spice website uh, so this one, the all-purpose seasoning, I use all three of them and make this beautiful dish. So guys, if you like what I just did, please leave your comments in the description box. Please tell a friend and a friend. Hey, <laughs> um, here it is. Good morning. All right. Caribbean fusion sauce and spice. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Yeah, well, as you can see, guys, that looking fantastic. The flavor, the texture, everything is just amazing. All right, by using all of these 
three beautiful fish and all purpose season guys it was amazing all right so i just want to say thank every one of you guys who take the time this one sharon bentley what's going on all right so as i said there is no salt in none of these right here guys trust me there's no salt so what you guys have to do you have to add the salt yourself uh, remember we just if you are suffering from high blood pressure and all them thing there this is just a really good herbs for you guys to use at home all right but as you can see that is fantastic lovely the flavor the texture everything is just amazing but i'm not going to keep it short too long it's like almost 40 minutes now we've been doing this guys so thank you so much guys for you guys for watching and i really appreciate every one of you remember if you are in georgia i pin the location for you guys where you can get all of that seasoning from the carb infusion sauce and spice all right so thank you so much for every one of you guys who take the time and comment on the show i really appreciate it 100 percent all right yeah maris robinson thank you so much man i really i really appreciate every one of you guys who take the time and coming on this evening big up my tiktok and my facebook audience thank you so much guys over there really appreciate you guys love 100 percent all right Susie, thank you so much. Um, Sharon Pox, thank Sharon Bentley, thank you so much. Sharon Pox, yeah, thank you so much. Maureen, <laughs> where is he? All oh, right, all right, yeah, man. Chef Matt, what's going on, man? I think you just get, boy, you're making too much of that thing, man. So watch out, you just say, boy, Chef Matt, you have to go for a little bit now. You might, <laughs> Matt, and, uh, big up yourself, though. I appreciate the love, man, coming on. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for this evening. And remember to go over, you can use Chef Matt code to get 15% off. Go over. Guys, if you are in England, check out their website and get one of these seasons. If you are, you know what I mean, if you tell yourself you want to, um, just use, you know what I mean, salt-free season for your rest of your life. This one is an also vegan, friendly, vegetarian, and it got a lot of um, ingredients which can, you guys can see. Yes, Matt. <laughs> I don't understand, man. You didn't forgive me one, have even one half of that thing where you're, where you're getting, man. You can't just keep it for yourself. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you so much. And my TikTok and my Facebook audience, I really respect you guys. Have a lovely evening and whatever you guys do, stay blessed, man. Remember to check out the Caribbean Fusion Sauce and Spice location. If you are in Georgia, check them out, guys. And you can also get some, some stuff there. Uh, yeah, use my code, Chef Ricardo Cooking, man. Chef Ricardo. All right, use the code. Yeah, so thank you so much for you guys coming this evening. I appreciate you guys' love. Have a wonderful evening and I will be seeing you guys 